What's up, man? You know who it is. It's the one and only Kiva, a.k.a. Mr. Every Week. Because I'm here every week with the Good Life Reviews. And today, we're on the homies from Johnson. It's wedding day. Jackie, you scared me. You scared me a lot, Jackie. You really scared me. Because like I said before, if you was going to stay on that phone when that call came through and no one said nothing, if you was going to stay on it, you should have stayed on it the whole time. Now, you was terrified about marrying Keith. I don't know why you was terrified about marrying the Keith. You was questioning the man that you were about to marry. But you already know... You, you already know the man you were about to marry. You feel what I'm saying? Keith is still the same Keith. Keith is still the same Keith. Keith got a lot of love for you, Jackie. He got a lot of love for you, and I'm glad y'all got married. Keith, you handled that. I'm real happy. You handled that how you were supposed to. Because if y'all couldn't make it through this, y'all weren't going to be able to make it through anything in marriage. So I'm glad you handled that. Because if y'all wasn't going to get married, somebody was going to get married. I don't care if Omar and Naomi had to do it all over again. Somebody was going to get married. You feel what I'm saying? Speaking of Omar. Speaking of Omar. Omar, I understand what you was doing. When you wanted, when you told Naomi she could take the job, but if you really not feeling that, you still got to be truthful to yourself and her. You feel what I'm saying? But I see what you're doing. You feel what I'm saying? I see what you're doing. You're trying to show her that you that you are basically okay with her taking the job. You feel what I'm saying? That's that that's cool. That's cool. But you still got to be true to yourself, and you got to be true to her because that's not fair to her, and it's not fair for yourself either. You feel what I'm saying? All right, Greg, stop playing with Jada. Greg, stop playing with Jada. I'm going to tell you why. Because you had Jada all boosted up like you was going to rock with her. And now you don't want to rock with her because of her daughter and her ex-husband. Like, come on, man. You really, you really rarely finding a girl today that does not have a child or that has not been in a past relationship. Maybe it wouldn't matter so much if she wasn't married. But handle that. Y'all belong together. Y'all belong together. I'm telling you. Jarvis, Antoinette, I already knew y'all was about to get it popping when y'all took that shit. You know what I'm saying? I already knew the vibes. I already knew. I was like, them two there, them two there, boy. Y'all y'all a match made in heaven. I'm telling y'all. So y'all go ahead and stick together and get to the bag. That's what y'all two do. That's what y'all two do, okay? Now, we're going to go back to Omar. Omar, see, this is what I was saying. Eugene had a heart attack. Don't hold grudges, bro. Don't hold grudges. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know that's better said than done, but now nah, look. Now you you don't even we don't even know if Eugene okay. Now you gotta take a flight and see if Eugene okay. But I hope Eugene okay. I'm really sure he's gonna be okay. But with that being said, man, y'all know who it is. It's the one and only Keeva, aka Mr. Every Week. Cause I'm here every week with the good life reviews. Shout out to the whole cast of Johnson. I always remember what I say. Positive thoughts create a positive reality, and I'm out of here.